Hello everyone, I want to share some exciting news with you. The video you're about to watch was shot a few months ago, and during preparation and production for its release, I was lucky enough to join the Evans Them Heads family. I was preparing these videos before I got the news and confirmation, but as the subject was really about tuning my drums, I wanted to take this opportunity to announce this partnership. A future video will be released with details of the heads I chose to use on my set, including some nice surprises. I hope the content of this video series will be relevant for you all. Now, let's get on with the video. Enjoy! Hi there everyone, my name is Thomas and I hope you're all doing great. As you may see right now, there is no drum set here, so no drum covers or playthroughs or anything like it. I am taking the time to clean the studio and I just thought I would answer a question you ask me a lot, which is how I tune my shells. So I'm preparing three videos to explain you how I do it. So the first one, this one, is about tuning kicks, then tuning toms and then my snare. So do not hesitate to follow me on my social media to know more about this. And let me grab my kick and let's get started. Okay, so here is one of my kicks, um, just as I'm playing it. So with the razor head, the black one, and the mesh head at the bottom. And I'm just going to, uh, to put out of the head to start from scratch with just a jump kick. So let's go. So I'm just untightening all the legs. I'm just uh, putting off the hoop and the head and I'm just going to do exactly the same thing on the other one. So all the lugs are pulled out of the shell. I'm just going to uh, put this aside and the mesh head too and we're going to, uh, to come for, uh, to it uh, just after and because I have a little um, attenuator for the head I'm just going to put it out. Okay so now that I have the shell uh, naked in itself I'm just going to clean it out. Now that the shell is completely cleaned, I'm going to mount an acoustic head because you know I use mesh heads, so for the sake of the video, I'm going to explain to you with an actual acoustic head. So first, you start with the better head to choose the note. And before using any heads, uh, I'm advising you to clean the bearing edge to not have any dust on this. You do this so that the head is in full contact with the bearing edge. As I've told you, I'm going to use an acoustic head so that I will explain to you how to tune each lug with the head. So I'm just going to use this one. And because I like the logo to be aligned with the logo of the shell, you just have to be sure that the logo of the head is aligned with the logo of the shell here. Okay, and now I'm just going to take the hoop to clean it and put it on the head. Now that this is cleaned up, I'm just going to align the hoop with the black tape here and the logo, of course, and I'm going to start finger tightening all the lugs. I'm going to finger tight each lugs and I'm going to do it two by two facing each other. You just have to equally tight each lug with the finger and not with the drum key. So now I'm not using a new head, but if I do, I would push the center of it to let the glue crackle around the shell and you will see it on the video of the toms and the snare. Now it's time to use the drum key to tighten all the logs because now it's just too sloppy to produce any good sound. So we will have to choose which tone we want and which pitch of the kick drum we need. So now you have the drum key and the stick. You will have to start applying some pressure and tighten 
the logs within the start button. So you will see on the top chart right here that you will start from the first one here and you draft the one facing it. And clockwise, you just add the new one and continue like this and so on and so on. Now with the drum key, because the head is very loose, I'm going to screw each log within half a turn of movement. Now I'm going to listen to each log and when I'm here, one which isn't in the right pitch, I'm going to use the drum key to tighten it for, to make it be higher or loosen it to make it lower. So we hear this one is lower, but I like it. So I'm going to continue and choose the, the one I want to have as my pitch from the kick drum. Much higher. I like this one, obviously, it's really uh, low. At first, it may be difficult because you have a lot of things to do and a lot of things to hear. But with time and practice, you will know what you want out of the sound of your kick drum. And with time, it will be easier and easier. Now that I have the right pitch on this kick, I will do the same thing with the rizzo head. First thing, cleaning the bearing edge for any dust and taking the razor head and aligning the logo with the shell. Okay, and now I'm going to put exactly the same lugs in each side. And for this head, it's the same as the uh, other one, the bottom head, and you just have to redo all the same processes. And same thing, I'm going to hear each lug in the same area to know which type of resonance I need and the same pitch. This head as a whole, so be careful on the logs in this part because it will have some different resonance. The Rizzo head has the tension I want. This one gives the shell its resonance and the first one, the better head, gives the pitch of the shell. So now I'm going to, uh, to hit the, the better head to check how the kick responds. So I'm going to use the Events EQ pad to block the resonance of the better head. So now you hear that there is no um, unwanted frequencies and unwanted resonance out of my kick drum. So now I'll be able to take my, my drum uh, pedal to start trying it. And now you just have to try it to tight the better head or the resonance head, as you like. As always, in the start pattern, even if the kick drum is set like this one. I've shown you how to tune your kick drum, but now I'm going to do it all over again with my mesh head, because what I want when I play is a really tight kick drum head to have a little more rebound from my pedals and then playing my double stroke technique. So let's do it again. Let's 
So, I didn't tell you, but you see here that there is a hole in the razor head. It just for two things. The first one is to control the resonance of the kick drum and let the air pass through. And then, if you record an acoustic drum, it's to be able to put some microphone inside the kick drum. But I do not need it because it's always triggering and I'm just going to put my black head without any hole. As always, logo aligned, and I'm just going to just finger tight it because I do not need any sound from this one. Okay, everything is set there, so I'm going to do the same thing on the batter head. Okay, and now the only thing I will do is to crank up this head so that I will have the most rebound out of it. Okay, and now I will just tighten up to maximum each lug so that I will have the better tension out of the mesh head. Okay, finally, it's finished. So now you can uh, do it yourself. Take the time and be patient. Let's see you on the next video about some tunings. Cheers.